What's up ladies and gentlemen, how you doing? Jim has it back here with another Destiny 2 video. This one is how to level up fast and get some really fast XP. So I've been doing this every day that I can and it really works. You do it on all three characters and get your XP up quick, get your season rank up to 100 and then get your light boosted up after that. So it's really easy, you just go to the tower, you feed the pigeons, and you get tons of XP. It's really easy to, I'm just kidding around, this is just the emote that you get. Alright, so what you want to do is load up on bounties, fill up on bounties, all the easy ones you can do. Go to the moon, go to Sorrow's Harbor, right over here you're going to go to K1 Revelation, the Lost Sector. So the reason why I do this, because when you're on a fire team, you'll, you'll lose kills with other people. So I like to go privately and just go by myself, so every single kill... I get and it gets the bounties done super quick as well if there's any chest around when you come out of the lost sector pick up the chest even though I just ran past one but that helps you get like 500 glimmer so that I help you get your glimmer up as well so what you're gonna do is load up on bounties you go to Eris go to uh, Banshee get all the bounties you can even Zavala you can get some regular bounties here like grenade bounties and stuff and you're gonna run in here real quick there's a ton of enemies right in the beginning Take those enemies out with the appropriate weapons. As you can see, some of them get done instantly. You can get them done really, really fast. Then you're going to just run out to the beginning of the Lost Sector and run back in. And when you're all done, you just get tons. You get enhancement cores. Check out my last video as well, how to get enhancement cores quickly and ascendant shards. As you can see on the next screen that pops up here, as soon as it comes up, come on. See, there's me getting them. As you can see, I have a ton of them. It's, they're not too hard to get. You just need to just do this technique and you wind up getting them pretty quick. It helps out instead of farming nightfalls and that stuff. So check out the last video that I show you and as well as see all those prime engrams. That's also from doing this little farm. What you're going to do, don't turn your bounties in yet. Get all your bounties done that you have. Keep them like that. Then what you're going to do is load into a strike. You want to turn them in when you are on a fire team. So if you don't have a fire team that you can join, just go into a strike and just hang out, wait until the team loads up. Then you go and turn them all in. You're going to get bonus XP due to the artifact and the whole season business. Everybody's ranking up a little bit easier that way, getting a small XP fire team boost. So just sit here, just wait. As soon as it loads in, your ship takes off. Just go over and turn in those bounties. If you have a regular fire team that you can join, you could do it with them as well. The higher the Guardian is, the higher the light level is, the more XP you will get. So 973 is pretty good. 884 is not going to give me that much. But if you had two of them that were in the 970s, then it's going to help. So you can watch here and watch how when I turn them in, you get a ton of XP instead of just doing it by yourself. Don't turn the bounties in by yourself. Go into a fire team and turn them in. And bam, there you go. Got right to 100. Of course I did a bunch of work to get to 100 but this is what I've been doing every day on all three characters and you can rank up like 7 to 10 points or whatever you want to call it 7 to 10 ranks whatever you want to say each day so it's really easy and really a really fast way just to get it done so trust me grab all the bounties that you can run over to Sorrow's Harbor K1 Revelation get that done check out my last video how to get enhancement cores quick it's the same kind of thing with Banshee, pick them up every day, do this on all three characters. I recommend your weakest character first, then the middle character, then go to your strongest character. So that way your light goes up a little bit better. Eh, you could do it any way you want, but that's just how I do it personally. Alright ladies and gentlemen, so thank you for checking out the video, like, subscribe, all that kind of stuff. Uh, send me donuts in the mail. Yeah, later.